Hello and welcome to the Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy silhouettes from photographs using Live Trace. I have a photograph placed in my document and in the control panel you can see the name of the photo. You can see that it's linked and you can also see the Live Trace button. But we're not going to use that. We're going to use this teeny little arrow that points down and go to Tracing Options. And that brings up the dialog box. Click the Preview button and the default mode is black and white with a threshold of 128. And that means that every value in the photograph that is lighter than 128 will read as white, and everything darker or to the left of 128 will read as black. But we want everything in the leaf to read as black, so I'm going to move the threshold slider up into the 200s. And as I do that, you can see that the preview updates live. To make the trace conform more tightly to the photograph, I'm going to decrease the path fitting by one pixel. And you can see that gives it just a little more detail. I also want to click Ignore White because I just want the black leaf and not the white background. And while I'm here, if you like these settings, you can save them as a preset to use in the future. So click Save Preset and enter a name for it. Click OK and then click Trace. The trace is still live, that is, you can change the settings at this point, but to turn it into vectors we need to expand it. There's an expand button on the control panel that's just sort of off the screen there. You can also go under the object menu to live trace expand. And now we have a fully vector silhouette that can be colored and resized just like any other object. Of course when you have a photograph that's got a white background it's super easy to make a silhouette, but what happens when you need to use a photograph that has a colored background? If I use the preset that I saved before on this photograph, well, obviously that doesn't work. So that's when we get a little help from Photoshop. In Photoshop, open the Channels palette, and you can inspect each channel individually just by clicking on its thumbnail. We want to look for the channel that has the most contrast, and blue fits the bill. So drag the blue channel down to the new channel icon to duplicate it. And then we're going to do a Levels Adjustment to make this even more contrasty. So go up to Image Adjustments Levels, or just Command-L for the shortcut, and slide the left and right sliders in towards the center. That will make the lights lighter and the darks darker. And you can use the middle slider to fill in some of the shadows with black. The figure isn't entirely black right now, so I can take the Burn tool and select Shadows as the range, and then just burn in some of those gray areas down to black. I can also use the Dodge tool and dodge some of the highlights so that any little grays that are left over will become white. Lastly, if there are some areas that you didn't get, just take the paintbrush and fill those in. When you're done, select All, then copy this channel, go back to the Layers panel, and paste it on top. And now you can save it as a PSD or a TIFF or anything else that can be placed in Illustrator. And now when we go back to Illustrator, our silhouette preset that we saved earlier works almost flawlessly. I see some little smudge up here in the top, so since this is still live, I can click this icon here to bring up the Tracing Options dialog box again. I'll click the Preview, and I'm just going to nudge that threshold down a bit, and that gets rid of those goobers up there. As before, click Trace and click Expand, and there's your silhouette. And since it's a vector, I can delete some of the objects or edit the paths. I'm going to clean this up a little bit by going up to Object, Path, Simplify. And you can see that even with a high curve precision, that's hard to say, the number of points is drastically reduced, but the object retains its shape and detail. And of course, since this is a vector silhouette, it is extremely versatile and can be placed in any scene.